Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video. Just to give you guys an update on the progress um the bowl loop program I'm in. I just finished uh, a few weeks ago I finished the advanced stick welding course with uh at 85 on my 6G overhead open route. So that means I had a welding overhead. Um I had you know I had to tack my plates down while this welded it down in front of me and I had to weld it to a stand and then do a open route pass with a 6010 rod and then fill it in with 718 rods, do a cap, cut my coupons, and do a bend test. I got 85 because I lost uh, 10 points on my uh, my open route. I had too many uh, had some spots that weren't fill that they didn't fill in properly, especially my restarts, and some high spots for my tax. So I lost 10 points on that, and then I lost five points for undercut and some some loose tie-ins. With, uh, with my cap, but I passed the bend test perfectly. Um, this is my root pass. I don't know if you guys can note, you can spot out this where it's kind of. This looks kind of looks a bit different from the rest of the, from the rest of the metal. This is a 6010 uh, root, and it had it didn't have any defects, no flaws. And there's my cap, the 718. So now I'm in a new I'm in a new semester. Won't be needing. A little scrub brush and chipping hammer for MIG welding, which I've done MIG welding a lot back in high school. And last time I actually did before yesterday, um, the last time I tested a MIG welder was uh, I was at a friend's place. He had a MIG welder and he was helping me patch up uh, a hole in the driver's side of my truck. So I had a hole in the floor in the, in the cab. And you know, other than you know, not wanting to be exposed to the road when I'm driving, he helped me patch the hole up. So that was the last time I used a MIG welder. Looking, looking, looking at the welds I did then, and looking at compared to how I do now, I said, "Man, I really need some practice." But uh, I did a little bit of welding today uh, in the booth back at the center, and big welding is not is not difficult. I think it's great for beginners. I, well, I don't know. I would say stick welding is good for beginners, but the, but I would say I would say the easiest form to learn is big welding because everything is pretty uh everything is pretty much automated as far as the feeding your wire into the. Um, into where this into the area you're trying to weld, you just gotta make sure you have your machine set up properly, and you know, watch your watch your puddle, watch your control in the gun, and it's pretty simple. Uh, here are some of the remnants of my uh, of my six my six G test. Um, there's a, there's my cap, and there's some of the spots from my uh, from my root pass. You guys can see that. Yeah, you know, it's not very pretty, but uh, but you know, I was very proud that everything held up. And that's why I got an 85. Uh, the lowest grade I got in the advanced stick welding course was a 77. And that's when I did my um, I think my 5G, where I had to weld uphill um, with the open route. And it was it was tough. <laughs> um, I lost a lot of points when I did my bend test because I had a spot where I didn't uh, I didn't pin trade enough with the 718 and it left a small void. And when I did my bend test, it put a small split um, in, on one. On one on one corner of the bin test of the, of the coupon, so I was kind of disappointed. But uh, I said I wasn't let that I wasn't let that, you know let that get me down. I was gonna keep practicing and and while I pass, and now I'm in a new semester. Uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated on few, on I guess how I'm doing in the program. Um, it's been fun. It, it's it's been very it's a lot of hard work, um, a lot of burns, a lot of sweat, a lot of slag in my face. You know, I, I don't know if you guys know that I have a scar right here where some slag hit me in my neck and uh, it's it's a lot of work and it's a lot of pain but it's, I think it's going to pay off in the end but please you guys share your thoughts uh, if you guys are doing welding programs tell me how you guys are doing any experienced welders please share your, share your thoughts and ideas on you know the progress I'm making right now um, I think after if I you know God willing I do well in the MIG welding program I'll move on to TIG and I've done take welding before. It is tough, but uh, I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna, I'll be able to tackle that and um, you know make out like a bandit. But I hope you guys uh, hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm not having to put up any new videos like this in a while. It's been real busy with, um, with the course and with other projects I've been working on. Uh, I'll clue you guys in on, on some of those some of those things. If you want to support the channel, um, please check out. Look for my homepage. Look for the give up that cheese button, and you can make go to um, go to PayPal. Make a donation amount. Make make a donation of any amount.
Uh, anything is appreciated. Uh, any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I see if I can do to address them. But this is my video, just an update on uh, me and the welding program. I'm done with advanced stick welding. Now I'm on the MIG welding. Um, and it's been a blast. Uh, I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care, and God bless.